Well, you know you're in trouble when your week starts out like this. This was what we came into Monday morning, folks. Yes, you're seeing it up close and personal, just like I did for the first time. Been around it, but never quite this close. It's actually a pretty cool process, but um, this whole parking lot paving thing did hold us up for quite a number of days, so I'm really very, very glad that it is now done. Okay, without further ado, Harmony Turbines would like to welcome back Uncle Roger. He made the journey down from Upper Michigan on Monday while we were enduring the heat of our parking lot being paved. So we were do both doing a little bit of suffering that Monday. Anyway, it's nice to be back. Yeah. Good to have you back. Nice to see my partner Josh. Yeah. I missed him a lot. I, I know haven't you. Asked him for the past two days now. <laughs> I missed everybody. You're gonna have to iron that shirt. It's, it stays in my little cubby hole. I'll fold it next time. I'll fold. Look at the wrinkles, eh? Yeah, I know. Well, well, I'm round, so that's what happens. You can't even see it in the light. Oh, you can't. Oh, now see you the can. Wrinkles? There you go. Yeah, now we got it. I like the shirts, though. They're very nice. <laughs> yeah. They actually fit. We don't look too bad in the winter. And they're actually the right very size. handsome. <laughs> handsome indeed. Yeah. We're oh, all like, here's the other one. Yeah. Here. Holy cow! Quad, yeah. quad, quadruple quadruplets. Yeah. <laughs> we even we even have the Miss Harmony turbines here. Ms. Yes, Harmony turbines here. Turbine. And the other crew. Yeah. And they're all over the place here today. We got a ton of ben them. Ben in the back there. Yeah. And Noah's. Tying his shoe. Ezra's. <laughs> Ezra, you don't have your shirt on, Ezra. We were trying to figure out how to get. Okay, let's stop messing around here and get into it. No, that's cold. Definitely not high. One more ball. No, it's second. There's third. There's off. There's one. Yeah. Uncle Raj knows second, the deal. Third. Wow, I feel like we're on the like Cub Scout team here. It's a tall guy in the back. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the back. Just we're all, we're all tall. Oh. Yeah, we're all tall. Right? We're, all, we're all short. You need to get in here, huh? Where's the thing? Head we right three, we're all, what is this? 18? 15, I think. Okay, maybe we weren't done messing around. What can I say, folks? We have a lot of fun here at Harmony Turbines, but we get a lot of work done as well. So that's what counts, right? I think we're in it now. All right. Weekly World 15. Woo! -hoo! Biggest group. Woo! -hoo! Biggest yeah. group we've ever had here at Harmony Turbines, and these are all actual workers contributing to the project. So we have Ezra, we have Josh, we have Noah and Ben, and Cheryl, myself, and Uncle Roger. And yeah. we have all been knocking them out of the park this week. I mean, seriously. We've been working on welding the frame together that's gonna to be on the um, forklift. We've been getting, last week we did the entire scoop array. We've been fabricating the parts, drilling, milling, tapping, welding everything we've been doing all the work to get the frame and the assembly together we were held hostage by our driveway <laughs> yeah for literally a week yeah. and a day or a week and two days it was yeah, awful like days. yeah nine days or something of productivity that we lost because we couldn't get any materials in so our work began on the rigid frame just Wednesday Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday and Thursday so two days we got to work and then a little tiny bit today um, because we got materials in both Wednesday, Thursday, and then today, Friday, for all of that rigid frame. So, with that little delay, we still make great progress. Today is our first inaugural Intern Friday. Yeah. And we have our interns here. So, you guys want to chat about what you were doing? Speak loudly. Because you didn't talk so soft, yeah. <laughs> All right, Ezra. Uh, so today, Noah and I mostly worked with the mills. Thank uh, you. We started off with Cam. Uh, we did most of that work at home. We brought it in, uh, double checked everything, made sure everything was, you know, good to go. And right now, we are uh, setting up the machine to run apart. So, yeah. You guys are going so. through the Titan 1M. Yep. M1. Titans of CNC Academy. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good deal. So, yeah. Noah, you were running into some new stuff that you were seeing with tool offsets and work offsets and tool lengths. You want to talk about that? Sure. <laughs> but I did get to learn the principles of a lot of tooling and machining. I definitely saw how the NLM codes worked and things like that. So that was definitely cool. Got to dive back into G codes a bit and things like that. So, but yeah, it was nice to incorporate all of the cam from the computer into a machine. 
and we were doing a little bit of air cutting just for the past half hour. Found a problem. Found two problems. Two problems. Yeah. Yep. Yay so for air go cutting. So we're going to computer and fix those <laughs> before we cut into our vice and destroy things. <laughs> Great. Because that that wasn't one of the problems, but uh, would have been a problem. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't want to cut into our vices here. No. And then. Uh, Today I worked on the electronics and the wiring and all the code and software within it. Uh, trying to get that furling technology up and moving. It's going along pretty well. We're having some issues with the motor, but it's nothing we can't fix. Um, fortunately, a lot of troubleshooting today, but other than that, really good day for the software side of things. Yay! Yep. Great. Very cool. Very exciting Josh, for Uncle Roger, do you guys want to... Friday. And it's just been a fun oh, week to be back. Let's see. So we got the Uncle Raj and I were working on the mainframe section. Uh, just got done this afternoon welding up the bomb support section for the center post. Uh, all the bolts, all the hardware is ready to go for that. Uh, let's see what else we have done. Um, the gusset plates are all machined yep, all and the, fabricated. Yeah. They yeah. fit together well. We have all the through bolts and the large and small uh, yeah, three by three thing, square so. tubing yeah. is now completed and ready to be assembled so right. he did all that in the cnc machine oh, that's why we don't even can't even think about <laughs> what we have done because he was doing all that work with what the we're right. doing is we're utilizing a third of the frame so we're using one arm and then the two cross beams coming off it'll be like the letter f yeah. to hold in our forklift i know it sounds a little bit funny but we need a way to test this early on before we just mount it to the ground set outside somewhere up on the roof so we're building a very rigid pallet that's going to lock into our forklift and then have one arm with two struts coming out that are going to hold harmony the one kilowatt harmony prototype in there and allow us to get our initial data then when we're satisfied with how it's performing and the furling technology is working and everything is going well, then we'll go ahead and start looking at putting it on all three of its legs and mounting it permanently on a foundation or up on the roof or something yeah. like that. But this will allow us to get tons of early test data and performance and validation data. Yeah. Great. What was your favorite part, Uncle Rod? I liked uh, the vertical mill. Okay. Drilling in the vertical mill, that was kind of yeah. fun. Yeah, he was moving pretty good doing that. Once he figured out the process and how to be efficient with it, he was just, he moved by pretty quick. He got a bunch of them done. Yeah. You were afraid, you were afraid to tell me something. Oh, what yeah. was that? Innovation. <laughs> I had him using a uh, center drill at first and then drilling with the drill bit, which is normal process, especially on smaller bits. But we're using a great big half inch bit here. And he was like, man, this sucks. I was so, getting frustrated changing the bit from small to large in every hole. So he just said, you know what, I'm going to try it with a half inch bit. And how did that work? It worked really good. All right. In and the then, mail, it didn't walk at all. It was yep. nice and sturdy. And I said, don't be afraid to innovate because that's what we're about, guys. So perfect example of yeah. someone getting a little bit frustrated thinking there's got to be a better way. And he did it. Yeah. So, did it. I'm proud of you. Thank you. You don't have to be afraid to tell me you're going <laughs> to try afraid. something different. Not None of you guys need to be afraid. I mean, Ben, you came to me today saying, Mr. Moore, we don't have power supply capable of moving this. Can I, uh, can I use your power supply off the laptop? And I was like, what did I say? Say yes. Yeah. <laughs> we got it done. Yeah. Nice. So, cool. you know, we, we have to be, we have to be creative. We have to be innovative. You know, and that's what a small startup is all about. It's about innovation, ideas, working together, collaborating, and talking. You know, measure twice, cut once, that type yeah. of mentality. Mm -hmm. So, no, it's great. It's going good. Yep. All right, well, I think we'll keep this short as short sweet. as possible, yeah. yeah. Thank you, everyone, for following us, for believing in us, for understanding what it is we're trying to do and making the world a better place. Catch you all in the next world. I was, I was off. Beat. That's all right. That's funny. That's funny. It'll be a good blooper. Harmony turbines. We now have the power to change the world.